I love the isolation. I love being able to see the sun rise and set. I never want to leave. We spent most of our lives in Toronto, 30 years we lived there. So we were very much city people. And when it got time to uh, think of retiring, we decided that we would like to move to the country. Partly because we wanted to get away from the city life and partly because we wanted to protect the natural habitat. We searched all over Ontario for a place and we eventually came here and we really liked it. It has uh, grassland that you can see here. From behind me you can see woodland and beyond the woodland you can see wetlands. It's a continuous nature channel. Nature Conservancy of Canada chose to focus on the Cardin Alvar natural area mainly because of the amazing globally rare alvar habitats that are here. We didn't know when we moved in that there was alvar. We never heard of alvar. An alvar ecosystem is unique in that it's a place where the bedrock is right up against the surface. You might find a shallow layer of soil or no soil at all. The conditions of alvars make for a harsh environment because there's not a deep soil that things can root in. They also flood in the spring and they drought in the summer. So you find a really unique collection of hardy plants as well as a unique guild of species using them. The Cardin Alvar is about 30,000 acres in total. Our property is at the southern end of the Alvar. We have a benefit of attracting species from the south and we get them from the north from the Canadian Shield. So you get the mixture here and that provides an abundance of biodiversity that you don't get in either of the other spheres. There's 238 recorded species of birds here. There's about 80 different recorded species of butterflies and a similar number of dragonflies. Over 300 species of moss. I don't know how many species of plants. There's a variety of species at risk living in this area. The key one is the loggerhead shrike. The population of loggerhead shrikes is about 13 nesting pairs in the summer. They may not sound much, but there's only 20 in all of Canada. But in general, there is a decline across the continent in grassland birds, and there's a big population of them in the Cardin Plain. They're not all endangered by any means, but they're here, and they're, they're kind of running in contrast to the declines in the rest of the area. About uh, five years ago, the Nature Conservancy of Canada established the Cardin Plain as one of their, what they call, masterpiece locations. The Probst property is nearly 500 acres of land, and it creates this contiguous network with other properties that NCCs work to conserve in the area. NCC's plan, which I would fully support, is to acquire 12,000 acres in the Cardin Alvar in an attempt to protect most of the rest of it. To date, NCC has helped secure eight properties, totaling over 7,000 acres in this area. So this is just another piece of that great puzzle. So when we decided we wanted to donate some of our property, they were a natural choice. Nature Conservancy of Canada's work is really important in purchasing the properties to keep them pristine, no matter what province they're in. It thrills me to see what they've managed to get their hands on. Canada, in general, has a lot of land up north where there's nobody living, but in the south where there is a population base, it's pretty, getting pretty developed and uh, it's worth looking around and protecting it. And I think this is a, a great place here to do it because there's not too many people living here. It's a good place to make a stand. <laughs>